All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to Travel This is Hatch Passport Radio. Kings. I know it's Welcome been a aboard long time, abroad. And I wanted to make sure that I could come up with some content that you guys could use. So that's why I didn't waste your time just by making episodes for no apparent reason. But today I'm just answering a lot of comments and uh, questions from my, my YouTube channel. That is PassportKings.com if you don't know. Oh, it's Passport Kings Travel on YouTube. So um, without further ado, let's just get right into it. First, we got a question from Elizabeth Henry. Well, it's not really a question. It's a... It's just something nice that she said. Thanks for mentioning my island, Grenada. Oh boy, I'm probably still pronouncing it wrong, but I think it's Grenada. Um, a lot of people in my comment section try to explain to me that um, one of one of like Grenada, the way I was pronouncing it, Grenada. Um, that is a place in Spain they were saying, I believe. So, um, I probably mispronounced it, but um. Thanks to the comments, they let me know that it's Grenada. Next is from Pay K. He said, how about an update on post-pandemic and OWO, control of these islands? Um, yeah, I guess I can make a an episode about the the pandemic. I know a lot of people call it the pandemic. Me, personally, uh, <laughs> that'll get off into my politics, which I really try to stay away from because I know that that could cause a lot of controversy on the channel. And I, some people say controversy is good. It sells. Controversy um, kills or it sells, as people like to let me remember. But um, my politics, it probably... Well, I mean, I'll just say um, no matter where the, um, the, the virus came from, I still think that it's best that you protect yourself as best as possible and... Uh, that protection is in the form of wearing your mask, staying six feet apart, washing your hands, and, dun, 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 and getting that vaccine. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are 100% against the vaccine. Some people are just like, I don't know. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to be one of the guinea pigs of trying this vaccine. But, I mean, as far I remember Neil deGrasse Tyson when, when COVID first came out. He was saying, you know what? Um, somebody asked him, what do you think is going to happen with this um, with this virus that's just coming out now? And his response, and I mean, if y'all listen to a lot of Password Kings, y'all know that I have I hold Neil deGrasse Tyson in very high regard. But his response was, um, this is pretty much a, how do you call it? It's like a social experiment, but I don't want to use the word experiment, but that is the way that you describe it. It's a, it's a social, it's a chance for us to see if we are going to listen to the scientists or, or, or if groupthink is really starting to take over the minds of everyone. And I would love to hear his updated response to what he think has come to pass over the last two years. But yeah, as far as as far as me, I'm gonna just listen to scientists. I'm not really, even though I am a YouTuber, I'm not. I know for a fact that first and foremost, a lot of people just will do and say anything because they think that that's what more people believe. And then there's the second amount of people that will just uh, go against the grain because that always causes controversy, which brings monetization but the funny thing about the monetization on youtube is they'll they'll demonetize your video if you're sitting up there uh giving out a lot of information that that is not uh that is not proven so i don't know it it's a sticky situation it's a it's a bad situation i wish we wasn't going through it at all but um it is what it is and i know as far as me i like to travel so if those places uh, don't want me to travel there without a vaccine, then I'm probably going to get a vaccine. And I know one of the main things is in order to get back into the United States from a lot of countries, um, the United States is probably going to push something that's going to make you have the vaccine to just come back into the country. So I don't want to get stuck in either one of those situations. So I'll probably one of these days soon get the vaccine i'm in no rush to get it 
but I am I am not 100% against it either. All right. Um, let me see. The next comment is from Auntie Mean. She says, Ryu Palace, number one. And then she put a thumbs down emoji. Well, I mean, hey, a, a lot of people will go to different places and have a different experience. Maybe Auntie Mean, she, she was there and she didn't have um, the best of experiences. And a lot of th- uh, another thing about those resorts is sometimes you have to just be there at a time where a lot of people are there that are that are positive people that are there to have fun and that will participate in the activities that all of the resorts have to offer. So, I mean, there is a chance that you could go to some place that's one of the most populous places in the world and you're just there at the wrong time. So you don't, you wind up not having the greatest time, but I still stand by that um, countdown that I made. That that countdown was one of my videos called um, the top 10 all in, Inclusive resorts in Jamaica and Ryu Palace got number one. And um, I was at Ryu Montego Bay, which is like the little sister of Ryu Palace. But uh, if you go to Ryu Palace, you get access to uh, Ryu Montego Bay and Ryu Reggae. So I would, I would, being that I had such a great time at Ryu uh, Montego Bay, I would assume that. If, if Mrs. Auntie Mean wasn't having a great time at Rio Palace, she did have access to Montego Bay. She could have went over there and enjoyed the rest. I mean, just woke up every day and went over to that one and enjoyed the time in Montego Bay. But Rio Palace, they did change it to a um, a like family friendly type of thing. So if you were there for the adults only, which I'm, I definitely got to make a video about all the adults only uh, places in Jamaica and especially the ones that get a little wild and crazy like um, hedonism that probably be the number one one on that list but I'll get around to that all right let's go to the next comment this is from Parvesh Ramjutan all right top three for me is Mauritius Zanzibar and Seychelles they have classified best island in the world also, Madagascar, I was expecting to see it on this list. Your choice was subjective, except Seychelles and Nosy B. None of these islands are my favorite places in Africa. I'm, I'm assuming that, well, I could probably tell by his name, he's like translating to English. So that's why a lot of his, um, a lot of his words are like misspelled. I usually, I mean, I never really make fun of anyone's um, bad spelling or bad uh, punctuation or grammar, unless they're sitting up there just trying to insult me for some reason. Like one of these comments I got earlier today, which was, it was just nothing but an insult. It it just tried to, I guess he's not really having a great time in his life, so he wants to try to bring down my day. Let me see what that guy's name was. I think I erased it. Well, it was just someone, and he just came to my channel. I could tell he just, he was just there for the first time. He saw my face. He didn't want me to be enjoying what I've been enjoying in life, which is my life, because obviously, I mean, I would assume he's not great having a great time. He actually put the same comment on two of my videos. I can't even pronounce his name, but it says... Yaki Native American Indian Indigenous Horseman. Um, his comment was, you know you can't swim, and you know you ain't from the West Indies or the Caribbean. You are an invader from Africa. The original people of Caribbean are the Native Americans from the Amazon region and the Amazon River where freshwater dolphins live. Wow, I mean, reading it over again, maybe it's not such a, and so I know that the you can't swim part, he spelled can't, C-A-I-N-T, so that's the reason why I'm saying it that way, I'm not just saying can't, uh, just a, you know, but I, I guess he was saying that that way as well, just to try to insult the way African Americans speak, but, um, I mean, you can, you can tell this guy's just living a miserable life. 
so he just wants to spread his misery around. But that's all right. I mean, hey, um, I hope he got to look at the video. That was a great video. And I mean, hey, I'm not going to feel a certain way about somebody who's obviously in a bad situation in their lives. All right. Last last comment for today. I didn't realize I already did 10 minutes, which is good. I guess I could do this a couple of times. All right. This one is from Winston Price. And he he was commenting on that same video, which was the, the top 10 richest independent Caribbean islands in 2020. And his comment is the reason for Jamaica's failed economy for many years is the IMF plus 40 years of no tax to the U.S. to own many hotels without paying tax then they have the then they have to turn around and borrow from their own from the own USA IMF lender to pay bills and run the country mm, well I guess that's um like a comment about the political state of Jamaica and um I'm assuming he's giving me this information because he feels or he wishes that Jamaica was higher on this list of the top 10 richest independent islands in 2020 and take that into consideration that that video is from 2020 this comment is from six days ago so things could have changed and the thing about those countdowns um some people get offended when i just read which is i'm just reading data i'm just reading what uh is the current state of the place right now it's no it's no slight or no disrespect to Jamaica I love Jamaica I, like if you've been watching my videos you see I've been there three times in the last three probably the last two years I've been there three times I, I enjoy myself every time I can't wait till I get back so if all of the people who who send me comments telling me that I am being rude to their island it's, it's not that at all especially with a countdown like that now if this countdown was like the the best or the the greatest islands in the Caribbean or something like that and then your island comes out I mean the island that you were that that you're from if that comes out in a lower place then I could see like you getting upset with me but I don't think I mean the way uh, Winston Price's comment goes he's not really that upset with me he just wanted to um, spread a little bit of information and and just put things into perspective about how uh, pretty much uh, all of the resorts I guess are are building these resorts out in Jamaica but not paying any taxes and sh man if I mean I can imagine that's 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 sucking up a lot of money from the country if you're sitting up there and you're, you're making a whole bunch of money off of tourism but uh, you're not paying taxes to the country yeah I can see how that would that would really that would really stunt growth in in your country so yeah thanks for that comment winston price that was something for me to um to take into consideration and something that i can research a little bit later hopefully make a make a video about it all right i guess well there's one more comment on this page so i guess i can answer that this is from Oh, I'm, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I apologize. But I mean, your name is like from a country that I am not originally from. So sometimes I'm not going to be able to. I'm I'm just not sure which way which uh, vowel sounds uh, your country uses most. So um, from the looks of this, his name is Anir Anir Anirud Anirud Parik. All right, and he's asking, what is the background music of my video, the top 10 richest Caribbean islands in 2018? Let me play a little bit of that video and then I'll be able to tell him where the background music came from. What's up, y'all? This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, right, we're going over the richest that I islands in the Caribbean. Many, many years Engage. ago. Engage. I'm Rockland. So I travel the world making videos and Mr. Parikh, right in the beginning, that, Join that song, so we can discover, preview, and which you can listen to all of my beats. I made them, I, I put them up on Welcome SoundCloud a long time ago. You can just look up SoundCloud slash Rockland. And you'll hear all the beats that you hear in my um, YouTube videos. All right, now this music right here, 
This sounds like um, some some of the free YouTube music that they offer. Let me see so if I put it in this countdown. Context. I didn't touch on the sun and fun aspects of these countries because of the prices of all. The dollar figures are the GDP. All or, right, so it seems like I was turning my which voice. Which is the purchasing power per capita. All right, yeah. All right, all right, all right so, so let me see if I wrote down. Capital. So this is a British overseas territory, no, which consists of the Caicos of this section, and the Turks Islands cluster. Right it is mainly known for tourism and as an music. offshore financial All right, but, but anyway, that is Import a beat that came from... Major. That's a beat that came from the um, creative section of YouTube. They, they have a lot of... Um, royalty free beats back there that they said that you can use for free that you can put on your YouTube video so to answer your question in the beginning it was some beat by me I don't even know the name of it it's so old and after that of course it was the Passport Kings um, intro music I made that as well and then this, this Jamaican sounding beat that I have in the beginning of this or this reggae sounding beat this is a beat from YouTube alright y'all but that is today's uh, podcast. I'm so happy I was finally able to get something back up here. It's been a while. Um, I still have the offers going out. I mean, I, I didn't get really a lot of responses, but I didn't promote it as that much either. So I just wanted to let y'all know that I am, I am here to do interviews with people who run like, um, like tour, guided tours of different countries. And I'm always, um, I'm always looking for new people to interview. Um, let me see. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking through my thing. All right, yeah. So if you have a story to tell or some valuable information about travel destinations or a travel group event that you want to promote. Of course, I'm inviting you to be a guest on Travel Heads Podcast. All you have to do is submit your info to the PassportKings at gmail.com or rockland at PassportKings.com and make the subject, I want to be a guest. And if we can set up a date that works well for both of us, I'll interview you and feature your business on the show. So you can take advantage of the service while it's still free. And I'm, I do need to put uh, this information up on my, my Facebook page, but unfortunately... Speaking of politics, like I was doing earlier, I got banned off of Facebook again for 30 days, so I won't be able to post anything on Facebook until like the middle of October. But but still, that doesn't stop the train from rolling. I'm, I'm as each day goes by, I become less and less of a fan of Facebook. So um, y'all can always send me an email, rockland at passportkings.com or thepassportkings at gmail.com. And if you want to be a guest, I will just ask you a couple of questions about your tour operation and um I ask you a couple of questions about yourself and and your business and we can all enjoy travel a little bit better once again I want to thank you guys for joining me on the travel heads radio podcast and I will speak to you guys next time peace <laughs>